in junior high school mathematics, you will encounter solving linear inequalities for grade 7, solving quadratic inequalities for grade 8 and for grade 9. This time, let us familiarize the different inequality symbols. First, we have the greater than. The less than symbol, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to symbol. Aside from grades 8, 7, 8, 9, for grade 11, you also have the rational inequalities. So you better watch this video and understand um, different signs in our inequalities. To write our final answer, we have the interval notation. Okay. This is very important. You're going to write your final answer in interval form or interval notation. So how to do the interval notation? Let's say we're going to check or to test our final answer. So we're going to use the number line to test our final answer. Let's say in our final answer, we have this output. Okay. So negative one, we have a hollow or a circle here, then going to passive infinity. So before we write that in interval form, let us first familiarize the different symbols that we're going to use. Okay. If you will encounter the symbol, this is what we call the open. And the shaded part, is what we call the close. If we encounter the open symbol, we will use the open parentheses or the close parentheses. And if our symbol is close or the shaded one, we're going to use the bracket sign. Now let us write this in interval notation. So open to negative 1, so open and write the number negative 1, comma, then we're going to positive infinity. So positive infinity. Now what are we going to use? The open or close? Since we don't know or we do not know where it ends, because this is infinity, we're going to use the open symbol. So, open to negative 1, that means negative 1 is not included. Then going to positive infinity. Another example. Let's say this is our number line. Then this will be our inequality. So we have in negative one and in passive 2. So let's start on the left side of our number 9. This is going to negative infinity. So since we, we do not know where it ends, so this will become open to negative infinity. Okay. Then negative 1, it is shaded. So that means negative 1 is included. So, 
negative 1, since this is closed, we're going to close bracket. Now, we have another answer on the positive side. So, we're going to use union. This is a grade 7 lesson, union. That means it is included. Open to positive 2. Open to positive 2. Then, we're going to positive infinity. So this is also open. Did you get it? Now, another example. What if we have so zero, one, two, negative one, negative two? What if your inequality is Close to negative 2, going to close to positive 2. So since we are close to negative 2, close to negative 2, then also close to positive 2. Positive 2, then close. Okay. Now, I want you to try... The following example. Try to write the following into interval notation. What if you have for number one? So this is zero. One, two, three. Negative one, negative one. Open to negative two, then open to negative three. You can pause the video if you want to try this one. And after answering, you can resume watching the video. Now let us try. Open to negative 2. So open to negative 2 and open to negative 3. Uh, open to positive 3. Positive 3 that is open. That means negative 2 is not included and 3 is not included. But 1.99, 1.98, negative 1.97, negative 1.99 is included. Positive 2.99 is included, but not positive 3. How about this one? Zero, one, two, three, four. Negative 1, negative 2. Negative 3. Okay. I want you to solve number 2. Get your notebook, then try answering. You can also pause the video. If you are done, resume playing, then let us check your work. So we are going to negative infinity. So open to negative infinity and negative 1. Close or open? So shaded, that means we're going to close to negative 1. Union. Close to positive 3. Close to positive 3. Then we're going to positive infinity. This is passive infinity. We're going to use the close parenthesis. Okay. 
Okay, that is the inequality and the interval notation. Again, this is very important for grade 7, 8, and 9, and for the senior high school grade 11. Please master this so that you have, okay, so that you will understand better solving inequalities, the linear, quadratic, and the rational inequalities. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV, and now let us proceed to solving inequalities.